yeah here it is I got this box here I've had it for a couple weeks and uh, been busy on stuff but I gotta open it and I'll show you what it is hey look at this picture I got I got this uh, I put it in a frame that's pretty cool it's a composite of uh, of different photos that this French lady does it's pretty cool yeah, first thing I got to do is get get my uh, steak knife. I got to find my glasses too. You know this this cat water here. Cats are drinking a lot of water lately. I can't figure that out. But I got to come in here and uh, get that steak knife. And uh, oh hey, let me show you this too. This here is. Uh, these are good. These Nature Valley things here, um, cashew and uh, cashew butter coating, bursting with cashews. Yeah, they're really good. Sweet and salty nut, cashew nuts that is. And uh, I think I'll have one. Have one now actually. Hey, what? What? Uh, it's nothing. How could it be nothing in there? I don't get that. I could have sworn there was a couple left. Man, this is weird. Let me just get my steak knife here. Steak knife with a broken tip so I don't stab anything. That I don't want to stab, that is. Okay, got this steak knife. I just gotta find my glasses so I can see like stuff and then uh, open that box up, okay? Oh, there they are. Got the glasses next next to the, the gun in the Bible. Yeah. Yeah, these crazy rednecks. Guns, guns and religion. Hey, there was, there was a president that said about that one day. Uh, how the rednecks had the guns and the religion. Who, who is that? I forget. Okay, now I'm all ready to rock and roll. So we take uh, take the, the steak knife with the broken tip. We're going to start sawing away here. Let's see what we get. Oh, as you can see, I, I did sp send them a special note. I thank thanking them for double box in the radio, like this um, this is West Western Estates or something, Midwest Estates on eBay. I said, be sure you write uh, Fragili on the box, and uh, nowhere on the box is the word Fragili. So I, I don't know. Maybe it's on the inner box, like the last one. Yeah, there's like a dent right here that better not hurt anything I'll be upset and I have no idea what is top and bottom on this thing it's like uh, outer space or something like what's the top what's the bottom who knows uh, hey that's the top I took a good guess I took the top hey, here's a different kitty Hey, uh, did you eat my, uh, did you eat my cookies? Huh? Did you eat my little, uh, Nature Valley energy bars? I don't think so. I don't think she eat them. Well, they, they, they did double wrap it for your protection here. So I gotta give him credit. He wrapped it pretty good. Except, uh, I got a phone call. Okay, gotta get back to this here. Ah, that's wrapped pretty good. And that was smart. They got a bubble wrap, and they got cardboard so it protects the uh, the window there. I mean the glass dial, hopefully. Hey, this is real smart. They put it on a cushion in here. 
they got the paper and they cushioned the bottom so that it's riding on like an air cushion. What do you think about that? Ah, that's smart. That's smart. I like that. Now, except for uh, not marking it for Jilly, they, they did a good job. Okay. Now it's time to be careful with the, uh, the pointless knife. Let's uh, put the camera down and use two hands. I'm making progress here. Uh, just want to say, I know this radio is missing a part. And uh, it, it may have some uh, veneer damage. I think I saw that in the photo. But I couldn't tell. But I'm pretty sure it has veneer damage. Because uh, it looked like that. But we'll see in a second. You, you know, this one here is kind of like peeling an egg. Like, you know. The other one was like carving a turkey. And this one's like peeling an egg. There's a difference there. See, this was just missing. This radio is supposed to have a handle on it. A bail kind of handle. Don't ask me why the engineer has put a bail handle on there. Because it's a heavy radio and probably a handle will probably be uh, too much for this. But they had a handle on there. But it's not there anymore. Let's keep going, okay? Oh, I just want to mention... Uh, you know, if, if anyone has the handle for that radio, or, you know, if anyone has, like, one of these radios, you know, just take the handle off of your radio and send it to me, okay? Because I don't think GE's making any more of those handles uh, for the radio, I think. I just, just have that funny feeling. But maybe if you got one, just take it off of your radio. <clears throat> look, look at that. Look at that, huh? You know, I really like this radio. And I'm, I'm not a huge fan of GE radios, but uh, I got one GE radio squirreled away somewhere, which I can't find it. You know you got too many radios if you can't find, like, a radio. You can't find it. But um, this one here, I like this one. I like the style of this. Let's bring it into the kitchen area. And let's get a closer look at it, shall we? Okay, there you go. I guess it's sort of looking okay. This this grill cloth looks a little dark there, but that's where the that's where the speaker is behind there. I guess it's like about a six inch speaker, I think. I really like the looks of this. I call this like a cross between um, Art Nouveau, kind of gothic, and also uh, getting you a little Art Deco, you know, with this kind of stuff. But I think like this part is like gothic looking, ain't it? I mean, like an old clock or something. Maybe Art Nouveau or something. I don't know. And this here radio is one of the very first, or of the first, with um, with an airplane style dial, he said. You know? So, uh, these are wood knobs. And, and this knob's the tuning. Let's see if you can see if that works. Yeah, that's the airplane style tuning. This got two bands on it. So this knob is like the course is the outside. It's actually turning. And this one's the fine tuning. The the center turns. So that's pretty clever for a wood knob. And uh these knobs got like little uh little circles in there that go around inside there. See, and make it pretty like. Now I think I saw a picture where these two knobs were in the middle, and that knob was like over there, I think. 
So maybe the knobs are in the right spots, but at least I think they're all there. Oh, I see this veneer damage. Yeah, um, I wonder if someone could help me with this to tell me why did it do that? It's like bubbly like down here and peeling like. It's like bubbly, bubbling a little and peeling like. And uh, I mean, was that because it was like underwater up to there? Or is that because it was in an attic or something? This looks like really dry. Maybe they had it in an attic, but if someone knows, because I'm just trying to determine, I mean, was it underwater or something? Maybe I won't know until we take the chassis out one day. Speaking of chassis, this is what it is. GE Radio K64 Super Heterodyne. 540 to 1600 and 5400 to 16350 kilocycles. It got two bands, count them too. 100 to 125 volts, 50 to 60 cycles, 75 watts. General Electric, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Which I used to live a couple of blocks from where this used to be built. I wasn't alive when it was built. That's so where's where their RCA radio trans go. Look at that. The label's still pretty good. Let's see if there's any surprises here. I think Snowcat likes it. But last time, it didn't snow last time. Last time he said it was going to snow, Snowcat. What's going on with that? He's sniffing it around. I think he likes it, maybe. What'd you see? You want me to look at that? Let's take a look. Oh, look, it's it's an old cable here. Oh, see, that's the old power cord. I like seeing that. Because usually when you see an old power cord, it means it hasn't been muckied around with too much. Yeah. See, they had a break in one of the speaker cable wires there. Got some rust on there. RE55-4, I think it says. Yeah, it looks like original speaker. I can't see. It looks like the speaker's okay. Yeah, it's pretty compact. See, I guess they had like an antenna wire or something there. Now, I'm not going to plug this in, obviously. Yeah, look at that. Original plug. I like it even more. I like it even more when I see something like original plug on there. You got the power transformer. Oh. Oh, that worries me a little bit. You see that power transformer? These things are bent back a little bit. These, uh, how, you know, like someone pried it back or something. Now you see, like the case? Why would they pry it back? They try to take it apart or something? Didn't know how? I don't know. got some kind of shield in there for the for the for the variable capacitor so I guess the front part don't interact with the back part or something or is shielding it from something that's pretty good maybe fingers from sticking in there pretty compact 1933 Oh, you see the base of this? Look at that. Oh, you see that? You see that? It's like the rubber grommet or whatever kind of stuff they made it out of. It's all squeezy-like. I got a feeling that this is like in an attic or something. 
and it got kind of toasty up in the attic. I don't like that. I don't like attic radios because uh, sometimes the coils melt, the coil forms melt, and the wiring falls apart. No, oh, that makes it tough. You got a slight amount of green on there, and that's the cadmium plating falling apart. In this case, because no one's had, who knows when they touched this last, you know, like 40 years ago or something. But you see a little greenish tint. It's very hard to see it, but I can see it here. It means you don't want to lick your fingers. Okay, now here, here's a picture of the schematic here. I'll show you that. Uh, yeah, the uh, the GE K64 schematic is the same as the RCA 121 schematic. Because, as you probably all know, uh, you know GE, RCA, uh, Westinghouse, um, I think AT&T and United Fruit too. We're all part of that big consortium to um, knock uh, to have RCA, you know, be knocking off, knocking off uh, Marconi from taking over radio in the United States. So anyway, this is the RCA 121 schematic, same as the GE K64. Now, I just wanted to show you. There's a chip in that wooden knob. But we just watched a video from Buzz1151 about how he fixed the wood knob. So um, that could be fixed. Use some of that, the Buzz technique. But that was good he did that video because um, I saw that in the picture. I said, how am I going to fix that? And then when I bought it, then, you know, then it's like Buzz had the video. Like after I bought it because it's been sitting in the house for a couple weeks. You know what I mean? So, um, anyway, that knob's smaller than that knob, but it's got to be the right knob because it's got the same kind of round circle things in the middle. So this model, I guess, is a smaller knob. That's either sensitivity or tone. I think it's tone. This one, there you go, on off in volume. This one, this one doesn't do nothing, it just spins around. What in the world is that? One of these got to be band switch. It's not that one. Maybe that's band switch and it just spins around. I don't know, I'm confused. Which is not new. But anyway, have a good day folks. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye.